I know I said in the last episode that I would be turning off stability for the rest of the career mode playthrough, but in about a few laps into this race, you're probably going to understand why I needed it. I might need to turn that back on. Um, this race is honestly going to be an absolute crapshoot, and I, you'll just see why I need to turn the stability back on. I just could not keep it together after a few laps or whatnot. You'll see the struggle. Um, just wanted to let everyone know that it's only going to be Martinsville that stability is going to be probably turned back on, and uh, that's just about it. I just wanted to put a announcement there. Uh, try to enjoy the video as best you can anyway. Hey, what's going on guys? Mindicube787B here, and welcome back to another episode of NASCAR Thunder 2004. In the last episode, we had a pretty good run-in with the uh, assists being off anyway at Charlotte. We actually got ourselves a top 30 day, but in this time, we're going to be in a bit of a pain here at Martinsville Motor Speedway. And uh, hopefully, we can try to get our best to keep our car in one piece. So let's just take a look at the uh, shop here. Uh, in our garage, our chassis situation is not good. We need to wait for a more race as the engine. We really need to protect that as best we can. Um, in terms of our bodies, though, we really don't have that much of an option to work on, I don't think. I mean, I'm thinking about just repairing the uh, body. I, I, think I'm, I think I'll just do that and make sure to get ready for Atlanta, so we'll do that. I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, that's what we're going to do that. And, uh... That's pretty much about it. Our shop edition is about to be coming around in about seven races or so. Yeah, seven races left to go for that. Uh, we're trying to put that all together, and uh, let's just get right. Let's just look at look at the uh, point standings here. Um, Junior is still running away with it, with uh, a f basically nearly two full race lead, 234 points. Meanwhile, we're all the way down in 30 seconds still, 62 behind Schrader, and. Uh, I don't think... I mean, we can catch Schrader, but everyone else is gone, and Jamie McMurray just clinches the Rookie of the Year, so there's no hope in getting that back. With that being said, let's just get right into this crap. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this track. Let's just get right into it with the... Uh, and all that, and I'll see you at the track. All right. So, Martinsville, I've done a few laps. I've made the setup as stable as possible because I'm going to basically be... Lucy goosey as we hit the wall there actually ow that hurt a lot and uh hopefully we won't mess that up with our, on our second lap here and uh we've already we're coming off all before now it's gonna put us in ooh, yikes p43 we're gonna try to send it down the corner we nearly just initial d it oh it's so unstable after a lap or two a few laps or so that's what i felt um uh, send them down to turn three and four. We get a good launch off the corner. That's what we want here in this game. And that time will put us... 26th. Okay, so it's not last. We're in the middle of the field, but we're on the high line. Oh, boy. I don't know what to say about this. Just, uh... Let's get... Let's... I think... Nah. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll make a change... No, we're not going to. Forget about it. Uh, let's just get right into it. Hello, everyone. We're glad you could join us at the historic Martinsville Speedway for today's Subway 500 on MRN. Barney, these pit crews will be busy all race long. Martinsville is known for great fender-to-fender -fender racing. Joe, I don't think there'll be a single car here at the end that doesn't have some damage, although oftentimes a guy who can manage to stay out of trouble all race long might get a ticket to victory lane for his effort. We'll see if that holds true when this one is all over. Jack Sprague has been leaving some on the table in qualifying this season. Yeah, that's true, but it's not where you are at the green flag. It's where you are at the checkered that matters. He just has to stay focused out there and stay out of trouble, which is sometimes easier said than done when you start in the back. The 56 car hasn't made much of a move in the point so far. Do you have anything nice to say about me, Joe? List. I mean, you were kind of quiet when I won Talladega. Their name there. Sometimes it's just not your season to shine. Kevin LePage really needs a good finish in this race. He's got a long way to go on the points list. And, of course, nobody wants to be on the bottom of that points list. He'll have to work extra hard to pick up spots. Not an easy task to dig yourself out of a hole in this series. Get a 
Alright, I am not looking forward to this race at all, as you can tell. <laughs> oh boy. And, uh, oh, look at that. Awesome build and Awesomeville starts in the front row. And anyway, we're going towards the green flag, and away we go. We, we jump right behind Jeff Green here, as we're going to send him down the inside. Barely any contact, not bad. And uh, we'll just try to get a good round uh, Jack's break here, but whoop, there we go. A little bit of contact there. That's a 10. We're going to keep sending it down the inside because that's what we do here in Martinsville. That, sh that was a 10, I want to say, because we're now at minus 12. And we're going to try our best to keep our way through the field. We keep sending it down the inside because that's what you got to do here. Newman, it is, oh, oh boy, that's a, that's a bit of a harsh contact there. That is, I think, a 60. And, oh, nope, that's a 30. My bad. So that's, so that's minus 40. Uh, we're just, we're just going to have to try our best just to uh, keep parking the bus as best as we can here. And otherwise, we're probably not, just not going to be able to survive, which is our huge uh, issue here. All right, Newman's only at 40. He'll just continue to be of a nuisance. But uh, he shouldn't be able to slam us just yet, thankfully. And, oh, we got loose. Oh, real bad. The rear grip's just gone already. Yeah, yeah, crew chief. I'll let him go, I guess. Uh-oh, we just really sent it in there really bad. And we just spun around. Oh, gosh. Don't kill me. Hi, Casey. Yeah, that's on me. 100%. Look at this. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a long day, ain't it? Just doing that stuff. I'm petting. Yeah, um, <laughs> I didn't really mean to do that to Newman like that. I really wasn't trying to rattle his cage or anything. I was just trying to make a clean pass down the inside, but I just, I just overshot the corner and just lock up the brakes there. So that's assuming what's going to happen. Hopefully we don't go a lap down because we, I want to prepare, prepare all that damage as well. That's a good game plan for this. Um, um, I mean, I would like to get the car to turn better. I mean, it's probably going to be an awful decision. Like, I literally just spun it. Why do I want to do that? Uh, nah, we'll just keep it back at 1.0. I won't even be mad if the uh, crew does a bad stop here, actually. I won't even be, be mad at all. Alright, let's see here. Seems good on the right side so far. Pretty nice. We're going to go swing around the lefts. All right, that was the that was a decent stop. Yeah, we couldn't afford a bad stop there, otherwise we would be a lap down. We're starting in the back, so be careful and stay out of trouble. Stay out of trouble. Yeah, sure. I would love to do that actually. And Rudd's like right in front of us now. He was the uh, winner of this race actually, I think, earlier in this year in the first Martinsville race. Uh, yeah, the main goal now is just really to survive. I don't see, especially since all the traffic is basically going to be gone away from us for a little while. Just protect the car. Just don't kill the engine. That's my main goal in mind. Just try to survive as best you can here. Besides, if it gets uh, really bad, I have a little ace up my sleeve. Remember the glitch earlier at the first Martinsville race where Bill Elliott just comes out of pit road and brings out the yellow? I plan on doing that same strat again at some point, assuming my fuel economy can actually make it here. Just gonna try to get it. I mean, it's just really just trying to keep the car out of trouble here, I suppose. I mean, oh boy. Oh, oh, there we go. Uh, we went around again. Shit. I think we're gonna get a lap down here. Yeah, I think we are. Yeah, this is really bad. <laughs> That's twice now we spun within 10 laps, pace laps included. Oh, boy. This is what I get for putting my money where my mouth is. For the uh, no assist thing. We, we got to come back down to pit road, I think. We got to put on the four Dr. Feel Goods. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm beginning to regret my decision on the uh, no assist thing for the entirety of the rest of the career mode. I'm beginning to regret that. Alright, so if it happens again, we're probably just going to put the assist back on just for this race. Because I really can't control it very well. I mean, it's probably my own poor choice of setup, though. Just trying to get that car to turn. I mean, I really would, couldn't care less if the fuel man just messed up that one. I mean, I'm not worried. As long as we don't go yet another lap down, we're fine. All right. Let's see if we can try to get our lap back here. Well, I don't know why we shifted into fourth gear. And not even close. Not even close. Goodbye, Junior. That's a 30 on Rusty. Why are we three wide? Okay, we're clear. We're going to try to send it on the outside. Oh, no, we spun it already on the high side. Don't drive on the high side. Confirmed. Got it. And that's a call. And I don't know why it was in reverse. You know what? I, I'm i going to have to do it, I think. Yeah, I'm just going to have to do it. There's just no way. I'm having a too much of a hard time controlling the car, and honestly, I really don't feel like sending out a caution every five laps. Sorry, Jimmy, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I'm going against what I said for this race, and uh, we're going to put it back on. But we're going to turn it back off, though, next next race, I promise. Ugh, that is so embarrassing. We wreck every five laps, essentially. Uh, uh... Yeah, we're just gonna have to come back down again. Put on some four doctor feel goods. Yet again. I know this is kinda the most exciting race of the uh, season. We just keep going through these long pit stalls. Yeah, that was a pretty bad decision to basically go to the point five. Try to make the car turn. We definitely need to do point 1.0 back again. Hopefully we can survive hopefully we can survive now with the stability being on. Yeah, this is a rear end just sticks like sticks way the fuck out, especially on the uh, high side. That's what I'm noticing here. I mean, I, I get it. This is an EA NASCAR game, and where the bottom right line really, really is the most important thing. But I really wanted to hope to have an outside line kind of work out, just like in modern NASCAR, where kind of like the middle line can help you. I mean, it's still preferred lane to be on the bottom, but you get the point, though. I mean, we could try again to get our lap back. It probably won't work, though. All right, Junior. Let's go. Let's do this. Drag race down there. And, oh, my God, he's gone. He's gone. He's able to get, send it down there a lot better than I can. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm against my word about doing the stability thing. It's fine. I'm going to turn it back off. I keep saying that. I should probably stop. I'm just annoyed that I'm already back in, like, a lap down, 18 laps in. And I have no, no hope of getting any more spots. Mirror, mirror, mirror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, excuse me there. Um, as we head... Yeah, we're probably basically just going to be trying to def not wreck the car at this point. I mean, yeah, we won't. We don't have... We have the assist that will carry us, but... Uh, let's just try to hopefully not go another lap down, because Junior's just gone. Once again. Uh, oh, they, oh my! They're just so much quicker than me. Look at this. I'm not. I'm, I, we keep barely losing the car there, even with stability. My gosh. I'm really doing the best I can here with the crap that I have. Okay, smoke. Was that a little bit necessary? Yeah, I think that was a warning shot too. I mean, I get it. I, I caused that that shit, but come on, give me a break here. As Marlon now tries, thinks about going down there, but we just keep we just keep sending it down onto uh, Bobby the Bunny. That there goes our line size. That's actually a thirty. Hopefully, uh, we don't really keep doing that. And they're, they're just so much better and quicker than me on the outside. This is what happens when we have bare bones equipment, I guess. Hopefully uh, next season, and we have an engine blow up. That's actually Ricky Rudd. That's for a spot. That's very good. Yeah, the, the crew chief's probably not going to shut up because of these two guys that are like obviously quicker than us. 
So we're not finishing last, so that's good. Oh shit, Sarley Marlin. Marlin. Oh, that's an eight. That's an eighty. Yep. Yeah, he's trying. He's trying it right now, crew chief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I do like the rival system they have in this game, but it just man, when you when you just uh like get like you wreck yourself and they run into you. I mean, they it, yeah, I guess it is kind of my fault, but my gosh, give me a break here though. I mean, yeah, it's your own fault for not avoiding me. I don't see why uh, you would get 100% get mad at me. Like, it happens all the time in this game. Like, if you if you get if you even like try to you couldn't have slow check up against someone wrecking, like they'll still get mad at you. That's just that's just the uh, problem. Another problem I have with this game. I mean, yeah, it's the best NASCAR game we got, but even th even the greatest NASCAR game of all time has its flaws and it's actually quite a lot of them in some ways as well sorry I just got really nothing to talk about so I'm just trying to fill this in here um, we're still we're still in last um, I think it's just probably what's gonna be for the rest of this run anyway but we're still relying on that glitch though that's the thing we're gonna, we're gonna try to get our laps back via the Bill Elliott glitch that's that's the plan I mean Pit road here is a really long time. You can actually lose like two, maybe three laps here. I mean, Bristol is also the same. You can lose two, three laps if, if a caution comes out during the cycle, which I tried to do during the Sharpie 500, but it didn't work out. And we couldn't we couldn't live long enough in the Food City 500 to, to find out if we can do it or not. Hopefully next season we can. We're gonna have yeah I know it's kind of like um what's the word I'm looking for. Um, oh gosh, Jimmy. Um, I'm thinking I'm looking for the little word unethical. Yeah, I think unethical is probably the right word. Unethical for me to uh, do it because it kind of ruins the spirit of the game, the spirit of the uh, race to rely on like glitches like that. But I hate to say it on rookie on the rookie season, you kind of have to. <laughs> I'm afraid. Uh, yeah, I know. Just gonna have to keep letting these cars go by. This is crazy. Junior is just putting on a clinic still, actually. I think. Okay, Newman. Newman, what are you doing? And that's not my fault. I don't care what anyone says. That's not my fault. I didn't cause that caution. Even though, yes, I did turn left here. Watch. Yeah, I did. But I was just trying to avoid him. Because I don't want to keep plowing into this front end. I don't want to keep plowing into the front end and just kill my, t my car. Just watch. Sorry, Newman. That's not my fault. You can't get mad at me for trying to do that. You, you really can't. Uh, I think everyone's. I think hope. I think everyone's gonna come down here too. That's such a weird time for the caution to come out too. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they're coming in. We're gonna stay out. I'm probably gonna regret this decision actually. Yeah, we're still a lap down. Damn. I was hoping to get a wave around so we can get back on the uh, lead lap here, but I guess, it, I mean, it, we did, but it doesn't work like that, I guess. Oh, look, look at our right front and left front. They're both, they're both red. Well, I guess it's just all about defending for this position now, I guess. Since it didn't work out in our favor, I think everyone else just came down pit road. Rightfully so. I mean, the run's about to be over. They have much fresher tires than I do. I can't stop the car in time because I have no grip. Yeah, sure. Does he want to try that again? Yeah, I know. Everyone's getting mad. I mean, I get it. My, I'm driving like a... I'm driving just as well as Quinn Half here. I get it. Even though Quinn Half doesn't exist in this universe yet. And hopefully he never will. Joy. The right front's wearing down. Gotta drive another line or it will blast. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, oh, more contact with the 11. That's an, only a 10. <laughs> we just keep losing spots. Alright, we try to get back on Mike Skinner. We do, but Robin's racing, I guess. That's a minus 28. 
Number four. He's still there. Careful. Uh, I mean, there's the man that we were really hoping to uh, rely on. That doesn't help. And that's a 30. And okay, Marlon, do you really need to do that? Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Try to get the power down. Good to go. I don't think I have that much hope left, especially since uh, Greg Biffle's right he here, and I don't even know where Kevin Grubb is. It's nice to see him back in the races anyway. I really don't want to run into Harvick. I don't want to keep the friendship status alive, actually. Because he's actually like one of the only two friends I have, the other one being Jeff Green. Uh, I, I, this thing can't turn anymore. I have to bring this. I really don't want to bring this thing down to pit road. I'm gonna have to stay out as long as I can, even though it's not gonna. Ha caution's probably not gonna happen because the AI just drive too perfectly on legend difficulty. It, it it's very rare for a caution to come out on rookie. I'm sorry, on legend. Not not that. It's very common on on rookie. Spotter, I don't want to hear it to be honest. It's just it's just not going well at all for either one of us. Number six, it's up on. All clear, buddy. Marlo. Okay, why are we three wide? Please don't put me there in that position. Yeah, I'm just gonna give the mayor there a little bit of a warning. Don't do that. But then. All right, here we go. Trip. Oh, the car's dead. And the tire's blown. The engine's killed. Fuck. You know what? I'm glad it's over. It's not the way how I wanted it to just end. like we had a lot of lead changes. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Seemed like every time I looked up, there was a different leader out there. It was a busy race for those guys battling for the top spot. The CarQuest car definitely got a little banged up, and it shows what an effect that can have on your finish. Well, I Shut the fuck up, Joe. Again. Take care of your car, it'll take care of you. And guess what? When you don't, it can get ugly. The 56 car has the beginnings of a rivalry with the 20 car. I'm not sure how all this got started, but now that they have a little history on the track, it'll be something to watch in the weeks ahead. This has been NASCAR Winston Cup Racing. Brought to you by EA Sports and MRN. Next up is Atlanta. You are dead. Not a big surprise. Yeah, that was a bit of a disaster, that race was. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was not good, that race was. Hopefully, it, yeah, let's see you won. I hate this game so much. <laughs> it's mocking me. Jamie McMurray wins his second race of the season. With Joe Nemechek third, the sponsor objective. You've got to be kidding me. J Casey Mears second. Joni Macek finishes in third. Mike Skinner ends up finishing his play car number placement. Sprague fifth. Newman sixth, who's probably the only one that's normal out of the top ten. Ernie Sadler seventh. Kevin LePage eighth. Greg Biffle ninth. And Brett Bodine tenth. Kevin Grubb, thanks for coming back. He finishes twelfth. And, again, it's broken. How did Junior finish 33rd? I have no idea. He was dominating the whole race. He led 36 laps. And... Yeah, that's just about it. We, we, me and Rudd somehow led seven laps. Okay, I don't think that's the truth at all. But hey, the simulation deci decides to uh, screw up when you DNF. I guess. Let's just get out of here. Oh boy, <laughs> at least Crack Car Quest is still with us. But we still, we still have like three more races with them or whatnot. So that's good there. Uh, the first thing I definitely want to do is keep my promise. And turn his back off. Or, yeah. Because that was only used for uh, Martinsville. We're going to turn that back off. And that's probably going to do it for this episode. First, let me check our sponsorships. Of course, yep, CarQuest is still still with us. Maxwell's like the happiest sponsor that we could boot because we just keep qualifying very well. In terms of our engine, though, yeah, it's killed. We're going to have to use it for uh, Atlanta, though. That's the unfortunate part, though. Probably have to build another engine at some point. Hopefully, we'll do the six race one instead. Make that like the backup engines. Uh, the chassis, I'm not sure what we're gonna do with that. I think I need the overhaul of the body as well. So that's just, ugh, that's just one thing after another. Um, we're going to, mm, we're gonna have to make something happen with those two things one, next time around. We're probably gonna. I'm not sure what I want to overhaul though for the next race, but I'm sure we'll figure that part out though. 
Yeah, just looking at the numbers here. I, I do think we need to overhaul that body, though, but we'll have to do that next time. <coughs> yeah, we got six races left to go for that. And let's take a look at the uh, point standings real fast. Yeah, despite messing up, we still have a full race lead now from uh, Junior to uh, Dale Jarrett. So that's something there. But, man, that's kind of dumb that how that all played out. Uh, LePage kind of gained on us, and we're losing a little bit to uh, Schrader. But we can still have enough time to go get him. Uh, and Bodine's actually really, really right on our tail, too. I didn't even see that. Uh, yeah, Kevin Grubb's still in last. And basically, almost every driver under the sun has something to go out for me. So that's going to be fun seeing all that at Atlanta. And, of course, we still have our two best buds, Jeff Green and, and uh, Kevin Harvick. It, it was Rookie of the Year. You could, if it wasn't clinched already, it is now. Congrats to the, on the win, Mr. Jamie Mack. And uh, hopefully next year will be more of a punch to you. Anyway, we're going to leave this episode off here. Unfortunately... I was thinking about doing a double header here, but I saw the runtime and I'm like, well, that'd be, Atlanta will probably take another half hour or so, so we're going to leave it off here instead. Yeah, we're going to go back to our no assist for uh, this race, and I'm so sorry I had to say all that stuff in the intro as well. Um, yeah, I will, hopefully you guys enjoy the episode anyway, and uh, if, if you do, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. We're actually almost at 300. We're like about eight subscribers away, I want to say. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, though. Anyway. I hope you liked the episode, and I will see you guys next time.